If you are an aspiring international student to study here in Estonia or you're just going to relocate here for work, uh, this video is for you. I'm going to give you guys an information when it comes to the matter of expenses. What's up everyone, RJ here and welcome again to my channel. For those people who are planning to study here in Estonia or planning to uh, migrate here, one of the biggest questions that they always have in mind is the cost. So today in this video, I'll be sharing with you my personal experiences and some insights in relation to various aspects of money. Primarily, how much is the bank statement that you're supposed to have as a form of proof of funds? How much is the tuition fee here? in Estonia if you're planning to study and when it comes to the cost of living how much are you going to spend so those are the type of questions that I'm going to discuss in this video so stick around I came here to Estonia as a foreign student and back then when I was still applying for the residence permit and the visa how much a fund I should be having in my bank so that I my application won't be rejected so let's start to answer first what kind of proof of funds you're supposed to present in applying for the visa and number two how much are expected for you to have so the only recognized way to prove your financial sufficiency are recent bank account statements the embassies cannot accept travel money cards or cash as a proof of sufficient funds when you're trying to apply for a visa or a residence permit, the immigration officer are most probably looking for a bank statement which is between three to six months old. Um, they were going to see the activities of your spending habits, how, how much income are you getting. Um, if you are a student and don't have an income yet, in this case, you can have a sponsor, for example, your parents, your relatives, or um, agency or any person who's going to support your studies or your educational needs. When it comes to the amount that you're supposed to have in the bank statement, according to the Estonian Embassy website, if your purpose of uh, going here to Estonia is to study, you need to secure 800 euros per month that will going to cover your daily expenses as well as the fee of school. Then you're going to multiply that by the number of years or months that you're going to stay here. So if you're going to do the math, it's going to be a lot of money, but that's not always the case because the amount that I was able to secure on my bank statement is the three years uh, tuition fee plus six months to one year of my living uh, stay here so more or less the bank statement uh, that I have shows uh, 10,000 to 12,000 euros and you always provide much higher than that however based on my experience I think that's going to be enough but keep in mind that each and every officer will going to have their own assessment how much does an Estonian um, application fee cost? Uh, during my time, I think it was about 80 euros back in 2018. And nowadays, the application fee for an adult is 100 euros. And if you have a kid which is between 6 to 11 years old, the cost is 40 euros. And for 6 years old and below, it's going to be for free. So at least you have an idea of how much you're supposed to have uh, in your bank statement once you apply for a visa here in Tallinn, Estonia. So back in 2018, the cost of the tuition fee of my program, which is a bachelor's program in liberal arts, is uh, 3000 a year. It really depends on the type of program that you're going to take, as well as the university where you're going to uh, complete this program. Tuition fees in different universities can vary considerably depending on the level of studies and specialty in question. Generally, the tuition fee varies from 1,600 euros to 7,500 euros per year. So that's a lot of money to spend for studies. However, you could also expect more for special courses such as medicine or aeronautics. Some institution will also go into differentiate where you're coming from. Um, Europeans have lesser tuition fees that they need to pay. Also, the Estonians may have uh, different fees 
than yours. It's also important to know that uh, tuition fees are modified accordingly and periodically. So the program coordinators will going to give you the heads up if there are going to be a tuition fee increase for the next school year. Once you started the program for this amount, it will going to run until you graduate. Let's say for instance, in my case, the tuition fee of about 3,000 euros per year and then the batch after me their tuition fee increased to um, 3,200 we will just going to pay 3,000 until I graduate but then again it will going to depend on the institution or the university that you are uh, studying at How much is the cost of living here in Tallinn, Estonia in year 2023? So just to give you a heads up, it's not as cheap as it used to, but to give you a rundown of the basic needs, let's say the accommodation, the food, I'm going to share with you the information that I have and I know of practically and based on my research. There are several options for arranging accommodation and this differs from the university to another and some universities provide students dormitory and hostels. Housing costs depending on the quality of the accommodation which is also important and the location where you're going to stay. So in terms of sharing a room in the dormitory, the price range would cost between 150 to 250 euros depending on the location of the dormitory and if you're going to have your own private room Within the city center, then you should expect an accommodation fee or renting fee of 250 to 350 euros. If you want to go outside of the city center, the cost of the room will going to be a bit lesser. You have to always keep in mind that there are several factors that will going to affect the cost, such as the location of your place as well as the structure of the building where you're going to stay at. If you are planning to have your own place, let's say in my situation, I'm currently living in a, a studio apartment. This actually cost me around 400 euros, which doesn't include the utilities. Utilities cost about 100 to 150 during winter time and 50 to 80 euros uh, during summer times. So when it comes to food, it will also going to vary on the type of food that you're going to buy. But students can usually enjoy the comfortable life around 300 euros per month. Each student can determine the food expenses individually, depending on their needs. So if you are an avid movie goer like me and you enjoy watching movies in the cinema, then the cost of going to a cinema would be between 6 euros to 10 euros. There's also going to be a student discount that which you can avail. According to 2019 results of the International Student Satisfaction Survey, I graduate. About 50% of the international students in Estonia say that they spend approximately 300 euros per month and 25% of the respondents say that they spend more than 400 euros per month. Only about 10% of the students spend more than 500 euros per month. So in terms of spending, it really boils down to what type of activity that you're going to have each and every month, what kind of lifestyle you're going to have um, once you're here. So the cost of living will going to vary from one individual to another, but you're going to have the sense that it's not super cheap here. I'm going to compare it to other countries and cities here in Europe. It's still relatively okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, those are the information that I want to share with you today and my insights when it comes to the amount of the proof of fund that you're supposed to secure in your document, the tuition fee that you're supposed to expect uh, when you apply to universities here in Tallinn, Estonia, and the overview of the cost of living once you're living here in this country. So I hope this video will help you as a guide in your journey of living here in Estonia as a foreigner. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have additional questions, leave those questions on the comment section down below. And this is going to be it for me for today. See you on my next video. Travel and adventure.